Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm Yo's Fowl, and let's look at the Pride Win tier list. Finally, they got updated again, of course. Acheron got added, and Gallagher. And now the whole meta is at those moments again where it got a little bit shifted again. And let's look at what the Pride Win tier list says. Um, I'm going to give my own opinions on where all of these characters are placed, and if I think it's wrong, if I think they should be changed or not, right? Um, quick shot at the Pride Win, though. Very good job for making this tier list. I do think... This tier list is very good for like an overall quick glance on how the game works, right? I, I do disagree with some of these things, but I do think this is a pretty good reliable source for newer players to just have a quick glance. Because in general, tier lists, especially in Honkai Star Wars, I don't think tier lists are necessary because I do think every character works in this game and every character will clear every content in the game if you put your heart and soul into it. I always say this on this channel. Every character works, so just have fun. But for the min-maxing, let's get straight into it. So, of course, Ekaron got added. So, of course, S+. Plus. I agree with this 100%, of course. I think um, there should be even a tier above. I think Ekaron is um, in a different league than these two. Hey, pause the video right now. Over 90% of you people that watch my videos actually are not subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would actually consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind after. Let's continue with the video. So I think she's the best damage dealer in the entire game, and she's not on the same level as uh, Don Hong and Danny Boy and Jing Liu, right? I uh, I think the only thing I also disagree with this tier list overall is that there's not enough tiers. I want to see more diversity so you can place the characters in a better spot, right? So now we only have S and S plus, and I feel like S plus should be like the 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 top or you can go ss plus or s plus plus whatever you want to call it right but uh yeah i think ekaron is not in the same tier as these two i think she just way her damage numbers are way crazier it's way easier to pull off as well i feel like you just need an ability cat she's only any harmony thingies right you just do uh you just do a payla and blah 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 just some ability characters just are good to go right so ekaron is a very very crazy unit for sure best damage dealer in the game right now but yeah, then the, still Danny Boy and Jing Liu, I mean, um, they're very good. I do think this is the top three, 100%, right? Still, these characters go very hard, very crazy. For sure, the damage numbers are up there. And I understand why they're all in, in S plus then, because there's also not more no, no more tiers, of course. So this does make sense, right? Then, um, Ratio and Jing Yuan and Zayla, I mean, I still, QQ... I um I don't really understand why she's there. Me personally, I know that she does a lot of damage, and I you don't have to tell me on how crazy this is and blah blah blah. But just because she's gamble, because the RNG aspect of it, I think she's a. I I can't put her up here with these consistent damage dealers. That um, when she has that gamble effect. I know that she can do a lot of damage. But that RNG does make you like restart sometimes. Or that is just... It is too ridiculous how sometimes how the skill points don't really add up. And I don't think it's an S value character because of that, right? Um, and that's my opinion on, on QQ. I, I think the rest, sure. Um, wow, I just noticed Argenti just got bumped down to B. And Hura and Himiko got down, bumped, bumped down to C. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. I, I didn't even realize this yet. I, I just saw the, I saw the little arrows. But, um, wow. Wonder why. Um, of course. Then, there's no way on God's Green Earth that Serval and Argenti are in the same tier, right? That is, uh, I think that is stupid. There's no way uh, that is a possibility. Like, they are not on the same level um argenti bare minimum a tier right but argenti can even do some uh some s i, I still think argenti should be in s maybe but he could be, at least be in a right with blade and stuff and clara um because if he has okay when he doesn't have the physical weakness it's a bit rough i know that like when they're not i have argenti as well and i mainly use him in pure fiction and then just against the physical enemies and no complaints if you do want to use him in MOC, though, he works really well. But when there's no physical enemies, it's a bit rough. But it's not B tier. No way it's survival level of like and this. I don't agree with. Not not uh -uh. at least A, right? I, I could even argue S against physical, but at least A as a normal standpoint. 
Blade and Clara. Sure, I, I you could have some arguments why Blade can be an S tier as well. But I, I can I can see this. So I but I do think Argenti needs to be at least A. Um same with Himiko and Herda. Um a memory of chaos. Ah, th this is Himiko should be A at least as well, in my opinion. There's no way Serval is better than Himiko, and no way that Himiko is in the same tier as as Hook and Misha and stuff. Uh-uh. There is no way, right? And uh Yang Ching as well. I, I still I think this is very, very sad. I think Yang Ching is also like at least B, but I think he's A, maybe B, top of B. I can see that. Or bottom of A. Kind of on an S, kind of on like another tier that we can sh shumol it a little bit better, right? You can like throw him, throw him in the little better tiers, but we don't have that. But yeah, I think Himiko in C is also crazy. And Yang Ching in D, I also don't agree with that. Physical Trailblazer and Arlan. Sure, I, the thing is though, with D tier, I don't think a single character in this in game is D tier. Like, there's not a single bad character in this game. That's why I don't really like the bottom tier. Um, I don't think anyone should be in here because everyone is usable, right? Everyone does their job in some sort of criteria. So, that's what I disagree with. That I just, like, I don't think anyone should be at the most bottom tier, right? I think there's always be a tier, tier under that and then no one should be in there because no one's bad. Um, but yeah. Overall, sure, I don't agree with Argenti and Himiko mostly. I think Herda is also at least B tier. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of these other damage dealers. It's like, okay, sure. You know, I can see that why they're not as popular and uh, not as as the others, but they can do some 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 stuff as well. I feel like all of these characters have some potential though. But yeah, uh, overall, sure. Let's move on to the specialist Kafka S plus. I can get behind. I can get it. I can. I can get behind that i don't know why kafka would be there not black swan i personally think kafka should be s um with black swan and topaz or black swan and kafka needs to be s plus but i i don't know the specialists they're very good uh, are they on the same level as topaz hmm i don't know maybe kafka black swan together in s plus i don't think one of them they should be split or all of them in s and we don't really have like a god tier specialist yet in the game then you know like for s plus but it's one of that yeah but i uh, top is very good so s i agree with this this kafka is a bit awkward in my opinion or s or all of them in s plus something like that with, Kaf with black swan kafka like you know uh, robin and batman batman and robin um then welt welt should be at least a in my opinion uh that's just that's rough i think physical trailblazer also should be at least b because Physical Trailblazer got a lot of, like, um, love uh, the last few weeks because of Kafka Black Swan Dot. Damage dealers can use now with the with that light cone where you can... When they get damaged, they apply the Fire Dot, right? It's the it's the, the Topaz, like, I forgot what the name is. I think for sure should get some more value with that. And now because of Acheron, the same value with that same light cone, I think Physical Trailblazer should be bumped up in general with, like, Welt. I think it's uh, Welt A and Physical Trailblazer at least B can go to A as well right now, I think. The rest, sure. Uh, I think everything's pretty fine. Su Shang could, could have some ways maybe to B because no one really uses Su Shang and she's a pretty good breaker. But yeah, you need Physical for that again, so sure, C. Um, Amplifier, Run May, Sparkle, sure. I, I, I can see that, right? I do think uh, Run May is in her own tier though. I think that's why. I think Ekron and both Ron May have like another tier above the rest. Because I feel like those two are super, super good, right? And I always think, I said this many times on this channel, I think Ron May is the best character in the entire game. Just because of what she does. Yeah, just the way she breaks the game with the break effect, the domain expansion she does, right? The all type rest band, stuff like that. Like she's just super valuable. You could throw her in any comp, zero cycle goddess. Like that is like just super valuable character right and yes sparkle is very good but i think run may is a, a few tiers above her so i just think we need another row here and then we put ekaron and run may above there um and then sparkle can be here in s plus maybe branya can be next to them but i do feel like sparkle is better than branya so i feel like this is pretty okay this however is not at all i Thela is very very good and i feel like all of these harmony units 
In my opinion, you can go below B with Harmony. Maybe even... There's maybe... If Ronmei is a tier above here, that could be an argument for that not a single Harmony is below B. Because all our Harmony units are very good. E6 Yukong though. Yes. No E6 Yukong. Sure, but we're going with E6. So I do think... Asta, Hanya, and Yukong should all be A tier. And then Pela should be an S. I don't think... They're very good. You can do a lot of cool stuff with these characters. So yeah. Sustainer. Um, I... Other people made me a believer that... Because hue, 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 <laughs> the crying. No, but uh, she... I don't know. Not in the same tier as Luocha. Uh-uh. Luocha is... In general, fell off pretty hard, right? Because of all the new sustaining and all the things that happened. We've talked about this many times on this channel as well. No way they're in the same tier. Uh, she should be S plus as well. And I do think Fushuan and Huoho are now in the same tier. Because Huoho does better stuff than Fushuan in certain scenarios. I think the overall sustaining capability Fushuan does better. And gives crit rate, which is still very valuable. But Ho Ho cleanse, attack percentage, like she does a lot of uh, energy, a lot of cool stuff, should be at least S tier. And there's no way she has the exact same follow as Locha. Locha has way less value, has a lot of good healing, still, he's perfect in S, right? Locha's just S, but there's no way this character is the same tier as Locha, it's just impossible. Gallagher A, I can get behind that, he's very good. Um, Gallagher or Japart and Bailu is a bit rough though. I think Bailu should be A and I think Japart is S. Actually, yeah, because the last, he just needs a lot of investment. But when you get that investment going with effect resistance of speed, defense, of course, and effect hit rate, if you can get that going, Japart is so good. With Ekron as well, now with the same thing with the light gun, with the defense, of course, that you put the dot on them. Amazing. He has a lot of uh, aggro, so you target him. Permanent uptime on his shield if you build him well with the energy rope. And in Simulated Universe, he's way better than Fushuan or any sustainer because of the shield, so you don't get one shot, right? Like, Japoya has actually a lot of value right now. I think a Japoya is S tier with Rocha together. Well, uh, Huehua is uh, S plus. And then Bailu at least A tier with Lynx. I don't Link. I think Lynx is pretty good because the AoE cleanse and stuff. So Gallagher, Lynx, and Bailu in the same tier here. Japoya should go to S. And I do think March should be B. And Natasha is pretty good. She does her job. But she can stay in C, I think. Although, I don't know. I, I in some scenarios, think Natasha is better than Bailu. Bailu, yes, has that... Uh, when you do die, she has the... You know, you can do that. But the cleanse is very valuable. So, I don't know. Natasha and Bailu is always, for me, kind of like the same tier. So... I feel like maybe both of them can go to B because March is also pretty valuable. You could do some really cool cheese set in the universe as well. But if they want to leave it like C, sure. And then there's nothing else, right? But yeah, this overall for MOC is pretty good. Uh, that's why just a quick glance. It's okay to get your information, but there are some errors in my opinion. And this, I think the biggest error is this Himiko and Ar uh, Argenti right now. Like that, that, I think that is very bad. But yeah, perfection time. Let's see. Herda S plus, of course. Her if you haven't built your Herda yet, guys, please do that. Lifesaver in uh, pure fiction. Absolute beast of a unit. And uh, yeah, Argenti, Himiko, and Jingyuan. I can see that they're all relatively good. Constant AOE, very odd. Of course, your addition is uh, king in pure fiction. So I can get behind this for sure. And then Acheron, I thought would be at least S as well. Friend of mine has Ekaron, and the AOE killing is very good. So I, I don't know. I don't. I feel like it should be pure fiction. I, I don't have Ekaron. Haven't seen pure fiction though. So it might be A because you need the uptime on the ult. Because you don't have the uptime on the ult the whole time, maybe she doesn't clear enough waves. I don't have the knowledge for that. So let me know in the comments down below if that could be S tier or you know maybe even S plus. I don't even know about that. But or else A is pretty solid. But because AoE, I don't know, yeah, these characters right here is a bit awkward. Um, if Ekron would be better, right? And she's not in the same tier as these. But all of these, I can get behind, yeah. This I don't understand, because she kills and gets another turn, and then kind of AoE. I don't know. I, when I use Zayla in, in Pure Fiction, it is cringe. <laughs> For me, at least. But yeah, Clara, yes, but maybe too slow a little bit. Sure, A tier, B tier, yeah, sure. 
yeah, and then all the hunt characters and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, Yang Ching and D, I can understand in pure fiction, right? Um, yes, Black Swan. Wow, wow, when I got my first Black Swan, and then when I started to build her, and then went to pure fiction, ridiculous units that. Every time the new wave comes in and she applies the dot already, that is so disgusting, man. I use both Black Swan and Kafka, and literally that side will always give me the stars that I need, right? It's the other side that has my most trouble. But I even had cases where Kafka Black Swan was so broken, or, or the te technique from Black Swan was so broken, that because that other team fell off, Bla Kafka Black Swan just carries the whole pure fiction. That's how strong Black Swan is. So S plus specialist 100%. Kafka very good, not on Black Swan level though, Black Swan is very good without the Kafka as well in Pure Fiction, 100%. Yes, these are for sure, I can get behind this, Weld, uh, yeah, because they don't really have the AoE, Topaz is Hunt, so I, I get that, yeah, and yeah, I, I understand this as well, Luka Sushong of course, I'm not gonna do that much in uh, Pure Fiction. Amplify is Runmei and Spark of course, they amplify the biggest AoE damage dealers and then you're having a good time. Super well, uh, super steady and stuff like that, right? Branya, Tingyun, and S, sure. Not the biggest fan of those two. Me personally, when I use Perfection, I mostly just use these two. And then, of course, the, the slot is already taken. But um, I can get behind this as well. Um, Asta, Pela, I don't know. Pela should be, I feel like S, maybe because of the AoE defense shred the whole time. Get a good uptime with an energy rope. She probably does very good job here. So I think it's an S character. Asta A, sure. Hanya, yeah, no one really cares. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, sure. Sustain, Luocha. In pure fiction, if you get some damage on Luocha with his ult, he's actually pretty good. I still, I don't know. How, how, I still think maybe Luocha and Hawa need to be swapped, in my opinion. But I don't know, maybe they're all three just S plus because of the AoE, but I, don't know, I feel like she doesn't do that much, but she still buffs, of course. She's like technically Harmony Abundance. So, but maybe S, but not, not below S, but I feel like because she doesn't really do the damage herself as a sustainer, could go to S, but I'm okay with S plus, but at least Luarch needs to be S plus as well, because his ult is really, really good. And you're not, you're not gonna die with Luarch in Pure Fiction. Gallagher might be S. But I'm fine with A because his ult is very good for pure fiction. So I'm okay with that. And then, yeah, the sustain is here. You don't really care about it at all. So overall, yet again, few uh, things to say. I think if you're a new player and you glance over this, you're going to have relatively well information. I do think like two or three things are very off. Yet again, the Himiko and that stuff like that. But I think, yeah, the quick glance, yeah, you're going to have a good time at Pride Win. Uh, hey, if you don't know this website, pride.gg, it's very good. Uh, it does more, um, it has more gacha games as well. It's very nice. Make sure to check it out. And yeah, the tier list overall, very good. I'm very hyped to see when the new update is there with, what is he called? Aventurine is there, of course. And of course, when Robin and Buto come out, we're going to go over it again. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. It means the world to me if you could. I love you all and have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.